Hey Harmonizers, welcome to this sad day. We are leaving Florida. I have loved living down here. The truck is all packed. It's like super crammed in there. Uh, before we leave Florida and head up to North Carolina for a day, I want to just kind of share with you guys a quick glimpse of where I've been living at my parents' place. So here we are in Florida. This is at the Villages. Come on inside. You'll see what's going on as we get ready to leave. Uh, my parents living in the villages is great. The place where I board my horses is only 20 minutes away. So I'll come in a little bit more and you can see my mom is just feeding Evelyn, getting ready to head out on our trip. I get her off bed ready to go. We have little Miss Evelyn and Sabrina who's joining us on the journey. And I I'm not going to give you a whole tour, but just come and check out the backyard out here. Uh, it's my favorite part of the house. So that's why I want to show it to you guys. This is what I'm going to be missing out here. Come take a look. When you come out, you've got the palm trees. There's a few different palm trees to look at. I just love that it. it's so relaxing. Sometimes we have, you know, meals out here and we just sit and sit. So I'm going to really miss that. I'm going to really miss that time. There's a whole bunch of pools and stuff you can use use here in the villages. If you haven't checked out the villages, you definitely need to go check it out. But anyways, we're going to go pick up the ponies and start trekking north. So come join us on this journey. All right, here we go. This is a little look at the truck, super well packed with little baby Evelyn in there. And the truck is so well packed that pretty much every inch has something, including under the seats. We really utilize the space. So there's my little herd ready to go and Valente was not super impressed about getting on the trailer but really in the whole scheme of things he did not take super ridiculously long but he was not really impressed with the idea that we were going to be leaving and keep in mind that he didn't come with us to the beach so literally the last time he was on the trailer was when he came down here and it was super long trailer ride for him so he was a little slow at loading, but he did get on pretty easily with, with like everything kind of considered. So he's loaded on the trailer. It's just so beautiful and sunny and I really miss it. Of course, my fairly girl just basically self loads. She's such a little sweetheart. Uh, so easy to work with there. So she's up and on. And then we got one more pony to load up. Miss Alicia, my 2020 thoroughbred for this year, and she's a pretty good self-loader. She kind of hesitated there for a little minute, needed a little pat-pat on her bum-bum to get up into the trailer, but I found the trailer was swaying a little bit and was kind of feeling not so good, so we stopped at the USDA office. First, we had to get all the way there to get our paperwork, so we kind of left it so that way... Um, we would pick them up and get it done in person rather than risking them get lost in the mail. So we stopped there to get all the paperwork signed. It's kind of a silly thing. You literally just go for a signature and to pay a fee if your horses have been there for more than 30 days. They don't even actually come look at the horses, but I'm just going to give you a little, a little peek at all those little noses waiting. So we had to wait for our paperwork to get signed and there's little Valente in the front. But we found that it was swaying a little bit. So what we did is at the gas station, we unloaded the ponies and rearranged them to put the thoroughbreds at the front and Valente at the back. So that way the heaviest horses would be at the front. So even though the biggest stall is at the back of the trailer, that's why we had the horse, the thoroughbreds at the back. But for weight distribution made more sense to put Valente at the back. So we made it to North Carolina. It hauled a lot more smoothly once we did the little rearrangement of horses. And so here's them in North Carolina, all settled in. And they got to kind of chill out. And this is the location where I did a workshop for the day, a Harmony Horsemanship workshop. So we worked in this dressage arena here and we reviewed some of the Comp Connection exercises. And then we ended up going to the indoor arena. There's little Evelyn there to work on some building confidence. So that's Sabrina with Evelyn. She was my traveling buddy for the journey. It's a pretty cool indoor arena that they had built there. And so we did some confidence building and Evelyn hung out at the clinic. Um, this is her in the tack room with um, 
her little playpen and we also did some individual tasks. So this is a rider that wanted to do her first ever bridalless ride. And so what we were doing because her horse really liked obstacles is we were using the obstacles as targets. So she was riding from one obstacle to the next and then rewarding her horse for getting there. So because her horse likes going to obstacles, it helped get the horse figuring out that it needed to go from place to place. So kudos to them. Then the most exciting thing happened the entire trip is that uh, Evelyn goes for her first ever pony ride. This is super cool. So Linda, the lady who's holding the pony there, she was the friend of mine that we stayed with in North Carolina and we stayed at her farm. So did my horses. And she had this super cute pony named Blossom that Evelyn was offered to go on her first ever pony ride. So what's super exciting about that is that is her first ride and I'm wanting to get her into horses. I mean, I would love if she became a horseback rider and would come around with me to these different competitions and shows. That would be super awesome. But to do that, I need to make sure that I keep her confidence up and that I don't let anything bad happen. So I let her experience riding Blossom, but I'm right there with her holding on. So if something happened, it's kind of funny. Evelyn's got no idea what to do. She's like, do I try to crawl? Am I supposed to do anything? Do I just sit there? She had pretty good position there for a minute. Right now she's doing some weird curl up leg posture thing that we just, you know, that's her own kind of riding position going on there. Doesn't really understand what's going on. So we just go for a little walk with Blossom. That's my truck and trailer there in the background ready to rock and roll to get going to Pennsylvania for the Horse World Expo. But that was it. That was her first ever ride. You guys all witnessed it. It was pretty cool. And then I just let her say thank you to Blossom. I want to make sure that I raise my daughter to be kind to horses and to be thankful to the horses and the animals that we come across and be gentle with them. So that's something that I'm going to really be careful that I teach to her, that we be gentle to the animals so and have an appreciation for them. So off we were to Pennsylvania with a little pit stop feeding Evelyn along the way at this cute little restaurant. And then we finally made it. This is at Horse World Expo. We've made it. So I've got Evelyn in a little carrier so she can come along with me as we unpack the trailer. So we arrived just barely in daylight, just enough to get the trailer unpacked. And uh, we got the stalls ready first and then grabbed the horses and time to put them into their stalls. So this is Valente. Uh, he was leading out, of course, a little selfie with my little girl first. And uh, I wanted to show you guys Valente leading out into the barn because that's kind of different. He's never been to anything like this before. You can see he's got kind of a calm, cool, collected walk going on. He's taking everything in stride. He's like, I don't know about all this stuff. See, he's got he's kind of bum tucked under and his tail slightly out. So he's a little bit wary. But they settled in. So these are my thoroughbreds that were totally attached at the hip and like completely neurotic with each other. They were so attached. They, I mean, they were always friends, but now they are like intimate best buddies. Uh, Valenti was across the hallway there. So when I took Alicia out for the first time, she was actually pretty herd bound and definitely not her super relaxed, chill self. And of course, when you turn on the camera, they stop doing all the super crazy stuff that they were doing. But you can see she was calling and upset and swishing her tail. You don't get to see the full crazy that she was doing, but you get to see that she was upset. And then this is uh, fairly pacing because I decided to separate my horses. So we put my friend's horse between my two thoroughbreds. So that's Cosmo in the middle and then Alicia on the other side. <laughs> She's not super impressed with her. Just because I thought, you know what, this is a little bit unhealthy. Uh, you guys need to realize that you're not going to die if you're not directly beside each other. And of course, there's Valente, just totally chilling, totally not a care in the world. And then there's a thoroughbred pacing back and forth, worried about where her buddy's at. So that helped them a little bit. We made it back to the stalls. Or sorry, not back to the stalls, back to the hotel. Mm -hmm. We're in the hotel, not the stalls. That's the hotel with Evelyn. For an early morning the next day, we were out brushing them all down, getting them all groomed, ready to go. Uh, we had the equitainment performance for the day. So that's the little five-minute freestyle. So I'm going to play. This is the five-minute freestyle with Valente, and I'm going to walk you through it. This is his first time 
On Thursday for the freestyle, there really isn't a ton of people there, so it's a perfect, perfect opportunity to get in the ring. You'll see the bleachers have some people in them, but it's really not that bad. And this is his um, first time coming in for anything. You don't get to warm up in an arena. You kind of stand in the aisleway when you come in. So I thought, well, let's practice a few of our basic skills that we need. We did some sideways. We did some uh, punch turn. And I'm moving a little bit with the music, but I'm mostly just trying to think of what's good for him. Because he's a little spunkalicious, little head toss there. He's been a little frisky, a little excited, a little nervous about what's going on in here. Well, overall, he's doing a really good job and he's prodding with me. I'm pretty happy with how this is looking. And I've got my little prop set up there. And you can see the crowd is super big on the Thursday, so it's a perfect opportunity to get him in. And I'm using it as a training opportunity. And luckily, as we go to do these little freestyles, so they're part of what's called Equitainment, which is the variety show. And so most of the horses that are doing this variety show have way more training than what Valente does. And, but they give you an opportunity to write a little blurb and to announce about your horse. And so of course for Valente, I have them announce, you know, he's a Mustang, he was just out of the holding pens in December, so he's, you know, very new. Uh, it's only been, at this point, about 10 weeks or so since he came out of the holding pens. So people know that he's not, you know, been a horse that's been with me for years, like some of the other horses that are doing together. So we do our little pedestal, which he does pretty nicely. He does the little ball, and then we head over to our block. And I thought, well, we've done this quite a few times at home, so this should be pretty easy. And so we go to start the little block. All is going well until, whoop, he jumps up and has to kick out at it, knocks it over. So I'm like, it's okay, bud. So this is like the perfect training opportunity to fix this. So I tip the box back upright. And then I'm like, you know what, we're going to use the rest of our song, the rest of our freestyle to hopefully try to fix this. So I go to ask him to do it, and he's like, oh, I don't think I can, I don't think I can. So I'm like, okay, I only have a couple of minutes to make this a win for my horse. I can't spend, you know, even 10 minutes waiting for him to figure this out because we just don't have that time. They're not going to let us do that. So what I decide is like, okay, let's side pass in front of the box and then side pass towards me in front of the box so you understand that's the movement that I want you to do. So I get him to repeat that a couple times, try to get him a little bit more confident about what that is that we're doing there. And then I decide that we'll try jumping it because then he's at least going over the box and you know, gaining his confidence, picking his feet up over the box. So I want to get him really confident with that so we do it twice. And then I'm like, all right, we've got a little bit of time left in our song. Let's see if we can get him to side pass the box and make it a win for him. Send patient with him here. And he's a little bit startled, a little bit unsure, but I'm pretty happy that he gets his confidence back up and he's able to do it. So I give him lots of good rewards there. So a big thank you and ask him to come the other way before he gets his cookie. And I give him the reward. And the crowd actually loved that. Um, of course, you can't see any crowd from that angle there, but the few people that were in the audience on the other side uh, were pretty excited to see that he figured that out. So that was all good. And then here's a little look at our second equitainment. This is, uh, I'm on the left. That's me and Alicia, my thoroughbred. And then on the right is Melissa Ellis with Cosmo. So Melissa has been doing harmony horsemanship for a couple, a few years now. And so she's had Cosmo, a horse who she never thought that she would ride bridalist or do liberty with. And so we decided to put a little routine together. And luckily, I mean, up to this point, like we never actually practiced this together because when we came out Wednesday night, Alicia was so upset and so herd bound that we didn't like get a chance to practice anything. It was it didn't go any how we thought it was going to go. I had to completely just cater to Alyssa and get her calm. So we totally just talked about this and came up with what we were doing and put it together. It's a little bit, you know, all over the place to start with, but I thought I'll show you the first one here. And we did this every day as part of the variety show. So we got to do it once each day. And so after each one, we kind of 
talk to each other and we're like, all right, what went well? What didn't go well? Uh, that's me trying to ask Alicia to rear. And she's like, no, nah, I don't really feel like it. So I'm like, all right, we won't worry about that. Uh, and Melissa's got a little Spanish walk going on with her horse. And Alicia's just like, no, not really feeling the rear. So I'm like, all right, well, I guess we're just going to get on and go to the next part of our routine. So both of my horses had little hiccups in their routines for their first day. But one of the coolest things about doing this is that we got to do it every day. So we did it Thursday, Friday, and Saturday. And then Sunday, we ended up leaving before the equitainment part came on. Uh, but Sunday is a pretty quiet day anyways. There aren't as many people there on Sunday. Friday and Saturday are definitely the busiest days. So here's a little look at what we kind of came up with together. And we watched the video after the fact and we're like, okay, we have to watch this a little bit. Like Melissa swung way further wide than I did. And so then that means I'm walking across the tarp and she's trotting. Now, Alicia is totally chill with the tarp and she's really only ever more worried about where Fairly is or where the other horses are. So it was nice that she feels comfortable with Cosmo now that they're stalled next to each other and we were able to address um, or be able to do the routine. So we had put this little thing together and of course we know that I'm well known for my work with the tarp. It's my signature move and when I come up with something better than that we'll do it but for now the tarp is just super ridiculously impressive. And we love kind of how it embodies what Harmony Horsemanship is about, where it's not forcing our horses, but we're moving together with them and building confidence with them. I mean, it's just so cool looking. Like, I love that when it comes up over our backs. It's super awesome. But even though I have the tarp as my signature move, I try to come up something different every year for what we do with it. So it's not the same every year. So this year we pick up the tarp and we're riding with it together. So this is different. This is new. And we're working on figuring out our spacing with each other. Cosmo was a little spicy there for a minute. And it's so visually impressive. I just love it. And you can see Alicia is being super duper chill. She could care not about the tarp whatsoever. In fact, getting Alicia to move is probably the hardest of um, the hardest task of the routine and you can see there aren't a ton of people in the crowd Thursday's a pretty quiet day so it's the perfect day to kind of experiment with new things and uh, try things out if you haven't been to the horse world expo or you're thinking about going if you go on Thursday that's a great day to go because the shopping you get the first choice of all the different sizes and colors and stuff like that and it's not busy to walk around in. It's pretty easy to walk down the aisleways and stuff like that. So it's a pretty good day to go if you can manage to get the Thursday off work or school or whatever. And so cool the tarp here, like catching the wind like that. We're both trotting up and just look how steady Alicia is. I was super duper impressed with her. So one of the things that we didn't have super well figured out was our ending. So I'm like, hey, let's go stand on the tarp because the song hasn't quite ended yet. And Maybe we should do that. It's like, okay, yeah, stand on the tarp. Oh, okay, we still have more time. Let's go off the tarp and let's do a high five. So we definitely needed to think about our ending a little bit more, make something a little bit more exciting for how it finishes up. But all in all, super proud of our horses, especially with how herdbound Alicia was the day before. I did not know if I was going to be able to do that. So then that evening, I had a demonstration. This is little Evelyn watching my demo on Thursday, and it was about uh, restarting off the track horses. And so I decided to bring Alicia in by herself and was super happy that by the end of the demo, even though there were no other horses in the ring, she was super duper chill. So off we went to dinner. Uh, little Evelyn in her little high chair there. She's getting to be so big. And so we enjoyed a meal around the table. Uh, going out for dinner to a brewery pub, which is pretty cool. And the next morning, we decided Friday morning, we went for a little indoor trail ride. So our indoor walk and we explored, we found this part of the expo that was um, empty. So it was kind of neat just to discover the nooks and crannies. This place, this facility is like gargantuan. 
And after we did that, we just had our equitainment performances, so our freestyle. So I wanted to show you, I'm not doing the whole routine again because that's pretty long, but I wanted to show you Valente with his box to show you how he improved on his box. So this time I decided let's jump the box first and then try our sideways. And so he sticks on the sideways and he's like, oh, don't know that I can do that. And I wasn't sure if it was because we were going towards the crowd. So I just asked him to go sideways without the box. And then I did sideways towards us over the box. And he was good with that. So I was pretty happy. It was better than what it was the day before. So he made progress and was feeling more relaxed. And you can see there's a lot more people in the ring. Here's a clip from the equitainment performance from our Friday performance. So significantly more people on Friday. Of course, the most people is on Saturday. And I just wanted to show you for this routine how we tried ending it. So a little differently this time was Melissa goes for a canner on Cosmo and then I go on the tarp. Uh, just to add a little bit different, a little different flair. So still not perfect. We, you know, tweaked it again for Saturday, but it was pretty fun. So we did that and accomplished it. And then I decided I would try, I got this uh, percussion gun and I wanted to give it a try on Alicia on her back because her back twitches when I just press on it. So this is my percussion gun. It, it moves up and down as you can see. And it worked really well on my muscles, so I wanted to try it on her. And it's kind of nice, uh, like we do tapping on the horses, but this is kind of nice because you just have to move it back and forth and just hold it. You don't really have to do a lot of wrist motion or anything like that, so it's pretty easy to use. And she seemed to pretty much like it, and she even bent to the side a couple times afterwards, which kind of looked like she was doing a bit of a rib release. So we were pretty impressed uh, that when I felt down her back, you can see a little bit of a twinge, like a little bit of muscle definition in there. But overall, it was looking more relaxed than what it was before we did the little vibe thing. So that was just something that I bought on Amazon. It's the percussion vibe. I got the pro version one because it lasts a little bit longer. So I we do her muscles for, they say 10 minutes at a time is the most you're supposed to do them. So that's kind of what I was doing with her and then rechecking to see if there were any tight spots or any spots that were still spasming because that's an ongoing issue that she has and could also be part of the reason why she's a bit ribby is if her fascia is not releasing. Here is just a little view of behind the scenes walking around the expo, getting ready to go in for a demo. Uh, this is one of the aisleways. One of the things I love about Horse World Expo is that it is all connected by the various aisleways. And so that's pretty nice because the you never you never have to go outside, which is super duper awesome. So here's a little look at the large arenas on our left, and there's some more stalls straight ahead. Our stalls are back the other way a little bit, but it just kind of gives you a feel for the traffic that goes on at these expos and what it looks like behind the scenes. I can't imagine all the cleanup that they have to do after this, like getting all those shavings up and the poops and stuff like that. But it's pretty incredible. And you can see Alicia is getting a little bit worried there about she had a momentary of, oh no, I'm leaving my friends. But she was okay and walked in. And here's a little look at, this is called the large arena where we did our warm up. So the large arena is actually smaller in size for riding, but the seating area is much bigger. So my demonstrations were in the equine arena, which is bigger for riding, like it's bigger space for the horses, but not as much space for the uh, crowd. But this is where the evening performance, the theater Equus is, and that's what I did last year. So then Alicia got to meet a little cow. So this is a miniature cow. And that's because I judged the versatility challenge, or sorry, the trail challenge in the morning. And as soon as we were done the trail challenge, they said that a bunch of us were able to grab our horses. So I ran and got my horse, Alicia, and we came out. And here's a little glimpse at some of the obstacles that we had the opportunity to school on after judging the competition. So it was really fun judging the competition. There were a lot of great obstacles, a lot of great contestants. And they had a really clear marking rubric, which made it really, really easy. And I was happy to uh, to do that. So that was a lot of fun. 
Then came our demo at the round pen. So this is Valente coming through to the round pen. The interesting thing about coming to the round pen is you actually have to walk through the public in crowds of people to get to the round pen. So that was kind of interesting to walk through that area, but he made it to the pen really well. So I'm so proud of Valente. He actually led the way through that crowd and we get into the round pen area, which is in the main giant expo area. So it's a good location to do a demo. And I thought it was a trick training demo, it was supposed to be a groundwork for a thoroughbreds demo, but we did a trick training demo and that's Alicia there. I had the help of Lexi, who's got Alicia and Mary Elena, who's got Valente there. They're both Harmony Horsemanship instructors and they were able to help out uh, with the horses in between me working with them and talking to the ground and stuff. So that was pretty helpful. And I was so thankful for my horses to get that experience in the ring. I kind of debated who I would bring, but ultimately thought it would be better for both of them to come in and just get that exposure. I've got some decision making to do because I qualified. I was chosen to compete at the versatility challenge at Equine Affair in Ohio. And I might take Alicia, but I'm not 100% sure yet. So in front of the crowd was a good idea. And then this was super adorable. So one of my followers on YouTube here that watches our videos made Evelyn this adorable dreamer horse and she absolutely loved it. So I had to show it for you guys. And so that wrapped up our Saturday. Saturday was a very busy day, judging the trail challenge, doing the equitainment, doing the round pen demo. And then we finish up a little bit time at the booth here. This is our booth. And it was a pretty busy day. I didn't show you the equitainment videos from Saturday. I'm going to pull those out separately because they were our best videos. So I'll put them out separately that you'll be able to watch them. And Sunday, the day that we go home, we finished up with a demo. I ended up taking the bridle off Alicia, even though the, the doors to this arena are actually big, ginormous doors that are open. But she was super chill and checking in a lot. So I thought, why not? I would do a little bit of that stuff. And Fairly is actually in the ring being ridden by Lexi and Sabrina was walking Valente for me. So both the horses got to, all the horses I should say, got to really stretch their legs out before they got into the trailer for the long haul home. But we opted not to do the variety show on Sunday. Uh, we did check in with the booth and they were okay with that. They were actually running behind schedule on the day. So they were actually pretty happy to be able to cut out one routine. And then Melissa did the tarp routine by herself. So all in all, a super experience for my horses. Uh, Friday and Saturday, definitely the busiest days. And my horses made so much progress over the few days. So I was really happy with them. Alicia's just really progressed. And so they all got their blankies on, ready to head home. And I didn't get any great footage of the horses at home, but I'm going to share a little snippet from them in their field at home with all the snow that you can't really see, but that's my ponies at home. So thank you guys for joining me on this journey. We'll see you next time.